Since the adoption of the International Labour Organization Convention 189 on better working conditions for domestic workers, several countries around the world have worked to improve how these workers are treated on the job. Coordinator for the Domestic Workers Section within the Antigua Trades and Labor Union, Andy Stevens, has been among those intensifying efforts to raise awareness since Antigua and Barbuda signed on to the convention two years ago. Last year we did a tree planting ceremony where we went to a few of the schools, um, Christ the King High School, we went to um, Victory Center and we planted trees there. So that was our first project, but because of COVID we really had to downsize this time. So we decided to, hey, let's still come out, follow the protocols and still show persons. That Domestic workers are among those who have been affected by the fallout from the pandemic. The ATNLU's General Secretary, Hugh Joseph, says the International Domestic Workers Federation has aided domestic workers in this country during these difficult times. On two occasions, they have given us uh, 5,000 US and we have been able to utilize that during the period of COVID when they were home and they were working with Jews days to help them with you know, other aspects of their lives, providing groceries, that sort of thing. Chairperson for Domestic Workers Section at the ATNLU, Norma Nelson, has this important message to employers. Treat us with respect because we deserve it. We enter into their home and some of them treat us badly. I have to say it, so some of them treat us badly. So we're just asking them to be fair because if they was in our position, they wouldn't want to be, they would want somebody to treat them fairly. So just treat us fairly. This is Kim Emanuel Baird reporting for ABS News.